it easy. And I said, Doc, I need to be honest with you. I think it's humanly impossible for a person to do less in the course of a day than what I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just being honest. I, I don't want to come up with this talk. What do I do? I'm a home health care provider for a 93-year-old man. The fuck? All I do is throw food in front of him and put on CNN. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't kill himself by choking or swallowing the remote. I don't fucking know. <laughs> But you heard about senior abuse. Anyone heard about senior abuse? Yes. Yeah, it's not what you think. It's not people picking on seniors. It's seniors fucking making the people that care for them miserable. They're angry. They don't want to be old. This guy's older than milk. And he doesn't like it. He's older than milk. And he's mean. And I can tell you right now, he's mean. He's an angry man. And he's disrespectful. I cook. I take care of him, drive his shit around, and he never says please, never says thank you. So I take opportunities to get him back. Don't even stop that. And one of the things I do is because I know he loves CNN, I wait for him to get settled into the sofa with his TV tray, with his bowl of fucking red and chips. Speaking of the chips, he decided to inherit a cat that no one wanted in church. I don't need a cat in the house. This ratty animal. Now I'm picking on seniors and animals. I'm fucking evil. <laughs> but he pets the cat who's shredding while he eats his chips with all the oil. <laughs> and I come in the room and he's got fucking fur sticking out of his mouth. He's going to be heaving up fucking handballs in a minute. I have to pull him out of his trunk and shit. But anyway. I get him settled in with the fucking cat and his chips. And he puts on his CNN. And I go, now I got him. I'm back in the sunroom with the other remote. Said, yeah, yeah. And he leans back. And he's got the CNN thing on. And I switch it to Telemundo. <laughs> but the guy's never even had a taco. And I put Telemundo on. And he leans forward and puts it back on CNN. Then he leans back and I get fucking tell him I'm not. <laughs> Now he's at the point where when he leans forward and hits CNN, he doesn't go back because he thinks it's his body motion that's changing the channel. And I love it. Because how long did he sit forward when he's 93? I'm 55, I can't even sit forward that long. And the minute I wait for him to collapse back into his seat, I hit bucket teller. <laughs> and I don't give a shit. Let him suffer. Shay! I go, and then I come out of the fucking room. I go, what's up, brother? I'm not paying for this cable with this fucking TV if I gotta sit forward. <laughs> And I go, well, I didn't do it. And he goes, shut it off and let it cool down. <laughs> like it's a TV from 1968 with a fucking magnet. In it. It's a fucking 80 inch smart TV. And he's got it on as loud as it could go. I go, how do you even hear yourself think, George? Your ears are like fucking toasters and you can't hear anything. Anyway, he says to me the other day, Jay, rude, he's me. Where's my yogurt? I said, George, I look in the fridge, there's no yogurt. He goes, I've had yogurt every day this week. I go, there's no fucking yogurt. Tomorrow I'll get you whatever you want. Yo plate, chabati, Greek shit, whatever you want. Nope, I don't want that. What do you want? He goes, I want the Ken's yogurt. I go, Ken's yogurt? The fuck is Ken's yogurt? <laughs> I look in the fridge and I realize every time I get chicken wings at fucking basket, they give me the free snack of fucking Ken's blue cheese and ranch dressing. <laughs> this guy's been ripping them back. Thinking that it's yogurt. Why am I going to go with this I don't get him 10 more blue cheese. I don't eat that shit. No, really, what the hell's going on? And I try to be nice. I don't want to come off as a non-caring person. I've been with this guy 10 years. I've got to have some caring. Now he's stepping on TV for his nightly movie. Oh, fuck it, George. I go, all right. Verizon just says you can have an extra thing in your house for Cinemax for three months for 10 bucks. Take it. 
I put it on George's TV. Now too much of it. All the little old movies, everything you want to watch. <laughs> He's all that. He's watching shit all night. <laughs> then he falls asleep. And I'm going to come down and wake him up and get him ready for bed and all that shit. But I notice on the TV, it's Alexis Delights. That one in the morning, the softball porn. It's not hardcore. It's softball. And he claims, he always says this, I'm a Christian. You shouldn't swear. You shouldn't use vulgarity. I'm a Christian man. I wake him up in the middle of a grind thing on the TV and I go, where's the Christian now? I need to put that on. I go, you put it on and you left it on. You naughty guy. And then he says to me the other day, I go, what do you want for dinner, George? He says, I want hot dogs on the grill. It's fucking December. I chisel my way out to the grill. I put his hot dogs on. I get his little bowl of baked beans with the chopped onions. And I'm already doing this shit. So I say, George, do you like your rolls toasted? He goes, yes. I go, great. I toast the fucking rolls. He makes his way out with the walker. I get this whole beautiful thing set up. He takes the hot dogs out, puts them on the plate, throws the rolls in the sink, dumps the beans on the fucking hot dogs. That's how we do Franks and beans. I said, I just asked you if you wanted your rolls toasted. He said, I didn't think you meant for tonight. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm taking a fucking survey. You're an animal. You're an animal. But anyway, enough of the old people. I can go on all night. What's with the young people? We used to go to bars. This whole table drank with me at bars. We used to go to drink. Shot. Yes, Michael. Occasionally, you'd shoot a little pull, you'd throw a dart, but even the dart was a little dangerous, you know, when you're drinking. Now they're fucking doing this with axes. Woof! Into a wall. They're throwing sharpened axes <laughs> into walls where drinking is involved. There's probably some type of drug. Fucking like weed, crazy weed. They're throwing axes in a bar. Remember you get in an argument with a guy in a bar? I'll fuck you up outside. Yeah, I know you won't. Now fuck you. Now you just go whack and walk his head off. <laughs> <laughs> Who puts axes in a place where you drink and you can throw them? Wow. But the new one that has me perplexed is uh, Pete's escape room. How many people have been to an escape room? Y'all ask, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> well, what are you, some type of fucking... They put me in a jail cell, I can't get out. It's a fucking escape room, I don't know how to get out. But if, if you want an escape room, I'll go to Mexican Window in my hometown of Melrose. I'll have nine fucking burritos. Then you can come into my bathroom, I'll make that an escape room. <laughs> You'll be pushing yourself to the ceiling, right? <laughs> Sentence will be hyped, I guarantee you. But anyway, that's enough for you. I can't believe I released all that shit. And I could never eat nine burritos. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it like this for a minute. Hopefully, there'll be people shorter, but not fatter. Uh, Matt's going to spin the wheel. What's exciting about this competition? Most 